Well, guys, we got some things to talk about in this video. We have to break down the stock market, how it's been doing so far today, three stocks I'm looking at, and most importantly of them all, we have to break down Jerome Powell and what he just said earlier today, about 20 minutes prior to me filming this video, which took the markets from being in the green slightly to now heavy in the red. So before we get into it, make sure to get your free money from Moomoo. You get one free share of NEO guaranteed and up to five other stocks, each of which could be valued up to 3500 bucks just use my link down below deposit at least 100 bucks and boom you get your free stocks or you guys can go to stocksurfest.com slash moomoo and again deposit at least 100 bucks and boom you get your free stocks and with that being said let's dive into it because right now the markets are very volatile we were red in the pre-market we ran up at market open now we're back into the red qqq's down 0.9 percent russell's down 0.6 we have the s p down 0.3 and the dow is down let's see here about 0.8 as the VIX is up about 0.8 percent and we have gold up 0.1 and silver now up over 1 percent so by the looks of it here on the four hour chart when it comes to spy which you guys should know tracks the S&P 500 this is struggling at 448 which we mentioned last week many times 448 is a huge resistance that was resistance back in let's see here the middle of February and it was support all throughout the uh, beginning of February and the end of January so the fact that we're struggling at 448 right now is not a good sign you guys can see here on the intraday chart we hit 446 earlier in the day followed by a sharp sell-off then we had that v-shape recovery which if you guys were in my patreon I actually traded T triple Q which which tracks triple Q and I ended up catching that V shape recovery. You guys can see T triple Q went down from uh, 54 bucks to about 51. And then I caught it from 51.90 to about, I think 53.15. So I made about two and a half percent on it. And if you guys do want to check out my Patreon, I post all my moves there in real time, morning videos, discord access, all that good stuff. That's linked right down below. And then we got that news from Powell shortly after I sold out of my uh, T triple Q position. And that's why it's currently tanking right now. And we'll, and we'll talk about that in a second. But before we do, let's go back to SPY and see again what is going on. Very choppy day. I mean, you guys can clearly see it on this intraday chart. And like I said a second ago, 448 is a big resistance. And it's not like we're getting, I mean, yes, we are getting rejected right now. But it's not like we're completely collapsing. At this point, guys, we're simply seeing a little pullback, a little bit of um, a cool off, considering SPY's gone from 430 13 to about 447 and a couple of trading days that's an eight percent move a half a percent move to the downside which is what we're down right now it's really not the end of the world and honestly i think this is still very bullish right here as long as it's above let's say 435 if it starts breaking under 435 that's where i'm going to be a bit nervous so right now i have my alert set at 447.50 if that point breaks at some point maybe today probably not today but maybe next we're not not next week later this week if that point breaks maybe we start filling the gap to 458 460 now triple q let's see what's going on here again i caught that move on t triple q which goes up 3x what tr uh, triple q goes up um, in any given time and of course if uh, triple q goes down t triple q goes down 3x of what triple q goes down so if you're playing these leveraged etfs guys like i did earlier today and i made about 2.5 percent you gotta be careful so what we're noticing on triple Q right now it's down about 1% it did break out of roughly 350 earlier um, today and later last week I think it was Thursday Friday or maybe it was Friday yeah it was Friday when we broke out of 350 the first time which was resistance in the end of February early March so that's a good sign but now we're trading back under 350 guys we are now at 347 90 and like I said with spy this is not something I'm worried about um, quite yet because it's simply a little pullback in the overall, you know, reversal or the beginning of the reversal. But if it starts getting under, let's say 340, it cracks into the 330s again, that's where I think, okay, maybe we're going to go back down and test the lows. And the reason why we are seeing this sudden drop, if you guys take a look here on the intraday chart on Triple Q and on SPY, we got a pretty big drop at about 12.30 p.m., 30 minutes prior to me filming this video. You guys can see Triple Q went 
down from 351 to about 347. It's down 0.9% from that point. And we have SPY down in that same time period around 0.7%, a drop from 446 roughly to now it's trading at about 442.60. So what the heck's going on? Well, Mr. Jerome Powell was speaking at the, uh, he probably still is speaking at, uh, as I'm filming this video at least, at the economics conference in Washington, D.C., and he said that the central bank is prepared to raise interest rates in half percentage point steps and high enough to deliberately slow the economy down if it concludes such steps are warranted to bring inflation down. And I also think he said that he believes we could slowly raise rates without going into a recession, pretty much, you know, avoiding a recession, which... I don't think that's 100% accurate. I mean, obviously, he doesn't think that he can do that for sure. He's obviously just saying that right now. Um, and I don't think he's right. I think if he raises rates a good amount, you know, sure, it's going to calm inflation, but we're probably going to start heading into uh, at least a short, maybe moderate recession or maybe a violent, nasty recession. Who the heck knows, right? So essentially, he said we are willing to do 50 point basis uh 50 basis point rate hikes at this point, which we all know last week he did a 25 base point rate hike. And the fact that he's giving this more hawkish stance today, he's willing to do 50 basis point cuts, maybe multiple 50 basis point cuts. This is, uh, it's causing the markets to freak out a bit, which is why now we're trading at an intraday low on SPY and on Triple Q, which is, uh, it's actually not yet on Triple Q. Triple Q is about to go test the lows. It's about 30, 40 cents away. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that's what's causing the markets to come down a bit. The fact that Jerome is being a bit hawkish right now. Who knows if he sticks to this? The data might change his mind. We'll see how it goes down. But overall, that is what's going on now. And when it comes to these three different stocks that I'm looking at, a lot of these charts look a little bit different from when I started uh, prepping this video about two, three hours ago before Jerome Powell came out and said that. But hey, we're still going to cover them in this video. Stock number one is Blink Charging, BLNK. This is now down 3.5%. And earlier in the day, I think it was up a decent amount, maybe nothing crazy, but it was breaking out above 2670. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, BLNK is down a whole two dollars from the intraday high, which is nuts. It's down about seven and a half, eight percent from that intraday high. So, BLNK, what I'm looking at here on the four hour chart is number one, an ascending triangle, number two, it's trading above both moving averages, and we have clear resistance at about 26 bucks. That's why I got excited earlier when we were almost at 27 bucks. We broke out of 26, but again, um, the markets are selling off now. BLNK selling off. Thank you to Mr. Jerome freaking pal guys. So I think at this point, if we break 27 bucks on blank, heck, maybe even 2650, I don't know, 26, 27, that general range, this will end up filling the gap to about 29, 30 bucks. If that point breaks, we have 3150, 32 next. And if that point breaks, we might be getting ahead of ourselves here, but bear with me. 35 bucks could be the next spot. And of course, we're not going to get there until, I mean, until we start filling the, uh, the, the the gaps prior to 35 bucks. But I'm just trying to show you guys and paint a picture where this could end up going if we do see that breakout, which we have slowly been reversing, but we're not quite yet getting the momentum that we want to see. So I have my alert at 27 from 27. Again, watch out for a move up to about 30 bucks a share. AMD is also looking interesting. It's not quite quite yet breaking out, but it's getting there. The stock's up 0.6% on the day. It did peak above the 180 moving average earlier in the day. Now it's back under it, and that's a big point for us to break considering that's been resistance for months, and it's also right by the resistance of the wedge. If we break out of this wedge, we're also noticing an inverse head and shoulders, kind of a lopsided inverse head and shoulders, but it still is one nonetheless. If we see that play out, we break out of the wedge, this might be going to 125 in the short term, right? We might see an 8 to 10 percent rip to 125 which was resistance in the end of february and quite honestly i think 125 could break i think we could be going to 130 135 and we all saw nvidia last week and it's probably still ripping let's see nvidia's chart yeah nvidia is down a little bit today but overall it's ripping out of this downtrend and and this uh descending triangle 
I think AMD is going to follow suit. I think it's going to follow suit. And we might be able to catch, you know, a 5-7% move, maybe a 10% move, and uh, so forth. And I just got a notification, Meet Kevin is live with Jerome Powell crashing the market. Not, not with Jerome Powell, but Jerome Powell is crashing the market. There you go. What we just talked about, right? So, yeah, AMD's up. Watch out for a break out of the wedge there. And the last one, which I mentioned a few weeks ago, and it hasn't played out yet, is Harley Davidson, ticker symbol HOG. It's a boring company, probably. I mean, maybe if you like motorcycles, it's not that boring. But in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of a boring company. I don't want to say it's a dying company, but it's, uh, I don't even want to say it's forgotten either, but it's kind of on the uh, back burner. Not many people look at Harley Davidson, or, or at least people that I talk about, but. Look at this chart. It looks pretty decent. What we're noticing is today it's down 2% roughly, but overall in the grand scheme of things, it's above both moving averages. We're noticing an ascending triangle playing out. We have, or uh, forming rather, we've been making higher lows since the end of January, 32 bucks, 33, 36.50. We hit about 37, 39, and we cracked over 40 bucks earlier. We almost hit $41, and uh, now we're back under the main resistance being around 40 40 bucks and you guys can see 40 bucks we've struggled at that point in October November December January you name it we've struggled even now in, in March right so I'm thinking if Harley Davidson can break out of let's say 40 to 41 dollars I think the ascending triangle will play out and we'll see the wedge play out as well to the point where mid 40s that's where it could go. You know, mid 40s is where we hit in the middle of December. And after the most recent earnings report, which, mind you, the recent earnings report was pretty good. And we cover that in that video about two, three months ago, or not months. Actually, yeah, probably two months ago, we covered their earnings report. And I doubt any of you guys remember it. Heck, I don't even remember it. But I do remember it was a good report and the stock shot up. And uh, now I'm getting ready for that next move. We just have to be patient. So, overall, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, drop me a comment, and don't forget to join my Patreon if you want all my buy, sells, call outs, morning update videos. Every move I make, including that move I made this morning, I post on Patreon for all of you guys to watch. Not to copy, but to see kind of what I'm doing, right? Join the Patreon down below, and again, you guys can get some free money from Moomoo. You get one free share of NEO guaranteed, and up to five other stocks, each of which could be valued up to 3500 bucks. It's free money, guys. All you have to do is use my link deposit at least 100 bucks and boom you get your free money it's linked down below and with that being said i'll see you guys later